G'day everybody, Paz here with our brand new channel logo. We're also continuing with our goal to reach 1000 subscribers in 2024. If you love Perth fishing, then please don't forget to give that sub button a click. Cheers. Well, it's been a fantastic start to the year. In my Swan River snapshots, I've traveled around the river, answering my own personal questions about our magnificent water system. I've had immense fun completing each video. However, the river is not the only place in Perth to wet a line. Those who've watched my earlier content know I love getting out on the yak and catching squid. With the snapshots and life in general occupying my time, it's been far too long since I chased the kraken. With the morning free, I decided to give the river a break from me and head out to bag some calamari. Check it out. It was a still, humid morning as I pulled up to Woodman Point. Not my usual squid grounds, but the sheltered bay looked better on the forecast. The sun was just peeking out as I launched into cool, glassy water. I wasted no time whacking in the pedal drive and heading out. It's been far too long since I caught a squid and also got some underwater footage of it. As I moved out to the first weed bank, I hoped to do both. As luck would have it, I only had to wait a couple of casts as a squid grabbed my white flasher jig as I was getting myself organised. As I reeled it in, I paused for a few happy snaps. No monster, that's for sure, but still good to get on the board early. I noticed the kayak was drifting fairly fast in the current, so I kept it moving. Broken ground is haven for squid, so I made sure to move between reed patches, canvassing the area, trolling my jig slowly with a few flicks here and there, and of course, enjoying the sunrise. Ten minutes later, something else came up. Woody's isn't exactly known for its giants, still a good opportunity for some more underwater footage. Two in the bag. I was ready to go again when a familiar face rocked up. Uncle Matt had a hankering for squid as well. 
As we caught up, it was the perfect opportunity to switch my white jig out for a coloured one, to coincide with the increased light. On again, this time a couple hundred metres south of the last catch. Uncle Matt hooked up as well. I really do love squidding. Something about the simplicity of it appeals to me. Or maybe it's just me who's simple. Huh? Oh, he got you, did he? <laughs> you gonna come over here and show us the uh, aftermath of that? With our session time coming to an end, we started a slow drift back to the launch point. As I flicked my jig about, I noticed a jellyfish that looked unfamiliar to me. According to my research, and Uncle Matt's vast knowledge of all things marine, it's apparently a native species from up north that's been cropping up in Perth waters for the past five years or so weird. Still, no time to dwell on the gel, because my final squid of the day came calling, whacking my jig on the retrieve. Under the jealous gaze of Uncle Matt, into the esky it went. And with that, it was time to go. Ninety minutes, four squid. Not great, but far from unproductive. It also served its purpose of giving me a break from the river and the chance to chase something different. Finally, there's no way I'm complaining about anything when I get to paddle around in this beautiful place we call home. Props to Uncle Matt for providing me with both a fishing buddy and, as always, a great laugh. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to do the whole like and comment thing. Next vid, I dive back into the snapshots and hit the river again. 
This video is dedicated to my two sons. This is Paz wishing you fair winds and tight lines. Until next time.